Hallelujah. I praise you, my King. Thank you, Jesus, for this day, for this opportunity, Father God, to speak your truth, Lord. I pray that all that have ears listen, that all that have eyes, they may be reawakened. Father God, to know the truth of the calling and the purpose that you have called them for in the mighty name of Jesus. That every lie, every scale would fall from their eyes today in Jesus' name. That they would be able to see like Elijah's servant, Father God, what they cannot see in the natural. To see beyond their circumstances today in the name of Jesus. That we would walk by faith and not by sight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Listen, man, I just want to tell you something. I pray that you never, ever forget the presence, the power of the presence of God in your life. Do you know that the one of Satan's main agenda is to make you believe and make you forget about the power of God in your life, the power that exists within you. He helps he he doesn't want you to remember the power you have. He doesn't want you to access the power you have. Because if you turn on the light, baby, he can't exist. Remember light and dark cannot coexist. And God is light. God is love. Right? So how do we diffuse? How do we get eradicate darkness in our life? And I'm talking every kind of darkness. Hate, uh Anger, depression, anxiety, addiction, baby. When you name it, if it falls under Satan's category, it cannot exist in the power and the presence of God. Well, guess what, baby girl or baby boy? When Jesus died and rose on the cross, he gave us dunamis power. He gave us the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. That is God himself. The power of the Spirit of God is in you. So then you could say, what's the problem, right? Okay, we got to learn how to activate it because knowing this is great. And we, if you believe it, great. But you got to go now. Now you got to do your part. You got to activate the Word of God. You got to believe it. You got to speak it. You got to stand on the Word of God even when everything is coming against you. Even though even though the doctors say this and even though you feel like this and so-and-so hurt you and this and this and the world is coming at you and you feel like you're drowning. Start to praise, because praise is the is the water that my enemies drown in, honey. Start to worship. Start to bring God into the atmosphere of your situation. Like the eagle, rise above your circumstances, because you see the enemy can't follow you into the presence of God, honey. So this is what we do. We turn on the light. We go into the presence. We, we remember that God has never left us or forsake us. So let's start to walk in our authority, y'all. Let's stop running from things. Let's face our fears, because our... Uh, fear doesn't exist in perfect love, right? So I know that I talk about this all the time, but are we getting this? Are we doing it? Knowing something, having a car in your garage, I say this all the time, is not the same as getting in it and driving it, okay? So I pray that you are accessing the power, the word of God in your life. Release it from your mouth. The power of life and death is in your mouth. It's in your tongue. Open your mouth and, and speak life. Speak life into your situation. Speak life over your family. Speak life over your health. Speak life over your finances. In the name of Jesus, and watch Watch what God does, honey. I dare you. I double dog dare you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love y'all. Man, I am on Faith Avenue. Ooh, and Believing Boulevard. Where you at? Holla.